What's up y'all? Got you an unboxing and range testing video today on one of the new purchases we made last week on during our ammo hunt that y'all saw me show you. Uh, and as you can see by the box, we got us another Taurus here. And this time we are looking at the Taurus 856 revolver in 38 special. So what we got in the box is standard stuff, the paperwork stuff, a little coupon sale thing there and we got our instruction manual there got our our uh hanging target boomstick specialty hanging targets and then we got the old revolver here so get this stuff out of the way and we'll take a better look at it all right here we go here she is the taurus 856 now there's several models of this as you can see by the designation on the manual here this is the standard 856 it's not that ultra light i don't like those ultra lights whatsoever man that's i've been waiting on them to get something in uh that's not an ultra light as y'all know i picked up this rock island m206 not long ago and this thing shoots really really nice y'all can check out some of the videos on the range testing i've done on this this is a good shooting little revolver right here man i was really impressed with this um, so I saw this Taurus in there really like the stainless. Uh, it's got a brush stainless on it It's got a stainless steel barrel with the black rubber grip on it uh, six shot of course two inch barrel So it's nearly identical in size to this Rock Island. I mean from above. They're almost the same profiles Almost exactly the same as far as sideways. They feel about the same weight uh yeah, they feel, feel almost identical in weight to me. Like I say, they're, they're pretty much, they're, they're very, very close. Now, this grip is definitely a little more comfortable on this one. I can already tell without even test firing it yet. Much more comfortable grip. Uh, as y'all heard me mention before, this one I bought mainly because of the look of it with that little skinny grip. But only, uh, unfortunately, that little skinny grip does not lend to ease of shooting for by any means. Now, this one came with a rubber or a plastic one that you could switch, but we left that on here for looks. But enough about that one. Uh, back to the Taurus, like I say, it is stainless steel frame. Uh, it's got the brushed or matte finish, however you want to call it. Stainless steel barrel on it. Like I say, two inch barrel. Uh, it's double single action, so either one of them. Six round capacity, of course. Uh, sights, standard little notch in the rear. It does have a actually a removable front uh, little ramp sight on it. It looks like it's got a roll pin in there, so you could switch, switch that out if you wanted to, but. Uh, I doubt we'll be doing any of that. Um, hopefully it shoots just as good as that Rock Island. It definitely feels better in the hand. That grip actually feels pretty decent compared to that one for sure. So I thought it was a really good looking gun. They had this one and they had the black finish in there. But I went with this one since we already had the black one. I think that's a pretty good looking little revolver right there. Uh, as far as the trigger, single action. Feels really nice. Double action, of course, really heavy. But it is nice and smooth all the way back. Single action, really nice, but let's get a weight on it right quick and see what exactly it is. All right, we'll do them like we always do on these trigger pulls. We're going to use the digital wheeler gauge. We're going to do a double action first, and then we'll do a single action. We'll do an average of five both ways, so let's see what we get here. I'm expecting about 10, to be honest. 10 pounds, 14 ounces. 10 pounds, 11 ounces. 10 pounds, 6 ounces, 9 pounds, 10 ounces, and 9 pounds, 2 ounces. So that gives us a 5 pull average of 10 pounds and 2 ounces. So about a 10 pound is trigger. That's what I figured for double. So let's see what we got in the single. 2 pounds, 6 ounces. Two pounds, 12 ounces. One pound, nine ounces. Two pounds, 15 ounces. And three pounds, one ounce. So that gives us a five pull average in the single action. As you can see down there on the bottom, two, point, two pounds, nine ounces. So not bad at all, really nice trigger on that. Alright, so nice feeling trigger on it. Like I figured about 10, between 10 and 11 pounds on the double action. Uh, between 2 and 3 pounds on the single action. So we're going to get her out. Like I say, it is a 6 shot, 38 special chamber, 2 inch barrel. Uh, again, on the revolvers, you'll know how we do on this. We do the bench pretty quick on this because ain't a whole lot to say on it. Uh, it is uh, rated for plus P ammunition as well. Uh, so 
we'll run a little bit of it in that and, and check it out too. But let's get her on out to the range and see what this thing will do. All right, y'all, let's see how this baby runs out. The Taurus 856 38 Special Revolver. Uh, we got 630 grain federal full metal jackets in it right now. We're going to work on these close targets up here. If y'all have seen any of my range videos, y'all know the drill here. This first one right here is 10 yards. These two on the sides is anywhere 12 to 13 yards. So we're going to run them on single action first, this first cylinder, and see how she does. Let's, let's get it. Let's get it. That was it, wasn't it? Yes, sir. You can see it, man. Grouped up great right in that center circle. A little bit low and left, but that's that's still right there in that center circle. So, man, that ran great for the first cylinder on single action. Let me load us back up, and we'll try the double action on it. All right, another cylinder full of the same ammo, 130 grain Federal American Eagle full metal jackets. We're going to run all these, all six of these on the double action. Check it out. Uh, so far, I like the feel of this little thing, man. Y'all know I've got that Rock Island 206 38 Special. Very similar, very similar little revolvers. The grips are definitely different. The, the Rock Island, y'all know I have the skinny wood on it. These are definitely more comfortable grips now. Granted, the Rock Island does have the plastic ones, but y'all know why I haven't changed those out. So this one's definitely a little more comfortable grip for sure so let's see the double action what she can do for us that was it all six of them ran great. I pulled that very first shot, but the rest of them inside the center circle. Y'all see them down there, man. Good shooting little revolver for sure. Let me load us up a little bit different type of ammo. Full, uh, same weight, but it's a little bit different. Let's load us another cylinder. All right, cylinder number three. These are uh, Remingtons. These same weight, 130 grain, but these are uh, lead, open lead nose round points here. So no, no full metal jacket. These are just the regular leads here, but same, like I say, same weight, 130 grain Remingtons. So... Let's see, I, they, I'm sure they're shooting pretty, pretty much the same point of aim, but we'll make sure first. Yeah, same deal. Let's see if we can go down there a little further. Oh yeah, that was the 15 yarder. Let's try that 25, we're getting brave. I miss that. There we go, that's the 25 yarder. I think I was shooting a little high. That was it. That was six of them. Not too bad. A little two-inch barrel, 25 yards. That ain't bad. Let's run one more cylinder through it. All right, cylinder number four. We're staying with the uh, the Remington 130 grains here. So let's see what we can do. Let's try to go back out to that 25. There we go. Ah. Uh. All right, pretty nice. You can pull, you can do it pretty quick. We're gonna do one more cylinder full. All right, last cylinder. I figured this thing was gonna run out good, man. No problems whatsoever. It's a good looking little revolver too. So let's get at it. Let's run all these on double too. Ah, got in a hurry. That was it. That was all six of them. Ran good, man. Definitely ran good. Ejects good. Nice and smooth. There you see it, man. Ran perfect. All right, there we go. Taurus 856. Another revolver with my my seal of approval for sure, man. Y'all see, ran out perfect, which, like I say, I didn't have any doubts it would. Um, I'll be honest with y'all. I've yet to get a bad firearm of any kind. Like any any firearm I've bought, I've yet to get a lemon. I've yet to get a bad one. I've yet to have any problems with any of them that I've bought. Uh, this one was followed right along the same lines. Ran everything perfect. 
really nice accuracy on it especially to be a little two inch barrel on it i'm definitely pleased with it it runs just as good as that little rock island which is what i was hoping and that's definitely what i got so there you have it, the taurus 856 i think it's a great little revolver um if y'all enjoyed the video make sure you hit the thumbs up below make check make sure you subscribe We've got plenty more videos coming down the line hit that subscription button so that way when i upload them y'all can jump right on them and check them out really appreciate that leave me some comments down below if y'all have got this little revolver or if you've been thinking about getting one what do you think about it? i think it's a good looking little gun too man definitely with this brush stainless on it so i, I really like this thing so leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think check out my amazon affiliate storefront page in the description and like i've always said before anything you go through there do your shopping you buy something through that link or, or from going through that link we get a little kickback on the channel so i greatly appreciate that appreciate all my range gang members appreciate y'all big time everybody watches and subscribe thank y'all very much uh stay tuned because i got a lot of stuff coming down the line man big time so in the meantime again stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon